when immigrant families come here, they want to immerse in America. They want to, and this is the process, the typical process of acculturation. I mean, acculturation process involves really wanting to become as American as possible. So many Chinese families who've been here many generations um, have lost language because of that. But then the backlash is once you have been here and you've tried all that, I think a lot of Chinese Americans have found, you know what, no matter how American I am, I'm never going to be seen that way. And in order to feel ethnic pride and heritage, in order to not feel self-loathing for the fact that I'll never look white enough or be Western enough or whatever it will be, then maybe I need to start getting more pride about who, where I came from. So that immersion into, or re-immersion back into um, their, their ethnic heritage, I think, is, is a result of the backlash of not of being forever foreign. You know, Asian people are forever foreign here. And so it's almost like that you have these expectations for someone and they you can, in your own mind, make them meet that, whether or not they in fact do meet that. So I think that's what happens for a lot of Chinese adoptees or transracial adoptees. What happens is they go into situations and people have perceptions of who and what they're going to be based on just how they look.